Hi guys, so in this video um, I'm going to derive the OLS estimators. Now this is part two of the video where I, I do this. In the first part I derived this variable here, the intercept alpha hat, and in this video I'm going to derive beta. Um, so I would definitely recommend watching that video before you get into this video and derive the second parameter with me, otherwise it's not going to make much sense and you want a bit more context and understanding. In the beginning of that video, I also kind of briefly go over the interpretation and the intuition behind the value of these parameters and how to interpret them. So, for example, in that first video, we found that alpha hat is equal to the mean of y minus beta hat, mean of x. Um, I did derive this in that video, and basically, long story short, the way to interpret this was that this is the value for alpha hat at which our estimate of the linear regression model here, this entire model here, this is the value for alpha hat at which the difference between our estimate and the true relationship is minimized. The difference between those two is minimized when alpha hat is equal to this. So in this video, using this value of alpha hat or the intercept, we are now going to derive the second parameter in the linear regression model, beta. So this is our value for alpha hat that we derived in the previous video. And now using this value for alpha hat, we can get straight into deriving beta. So if you recall from the previous video, the goal of these, of a, any OLS model is to minimize the sum of the squared residuals, which we defined in the following way. This is just simply the difference between the true linear regression model that we can't observe and the linear regression model that we estimate. This is just the difference between them. We square that difference and we sum it over all observations and our goal is to minimize this for and that's the goal of these parameters is to provide values for beta and alpha that minimize this equation so now that we know what alpha hat is we know what value of alpha hat minimizes this equation it takes us one step closer to finding beta hat because we can now plug our value for alpha hat into this equation here which is what I'm going to do. So this curve the bracket here is just going to become this. What we're doing now is just simply plugging in our value for alpha hat, which ends up like this. I just touched up a few things here. Um, so our next step is just to rearrange this here. So this is just, so far everything here is just pure algebra. Um, so we're going to rearrange the inside of this square bracket here. So we're going to combine our y's and bring them together. So we can say that this can be that. And we're going to factor out the beta hat being that it's multiplied by x, two different types of x. So we can write that like this. So if you were to expand this out, it would give you the exact same thing. All we're, all we're doing here is rearranging. Don't think anything more of it. And this is going to be squared. Remember the, the summation, bring that down here. So this is again there. Now the next step, make that arrow a bit better. So the next step is to minimize this. And as we know, minimizing any function, we just differentiate it or take the first order conditions and set it equal to zero. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So we want to minimize this equation here with respect to beta, set it equal to zero, solve for beta, and that will give us you know, the minimized version of this equation and beta will provide us with the value for which this equation is minimized. Um, 
to do that, however, being due to the, just the nature of this function here, the easiest way to differentiate this type of function is just to use the chain rule. That is the only rule of differentiation you're going to need. I did say this in the previous video, but if you're unfamiliar with that, um, just a quick Google search or maybe a quick video about it will help because I'm not going to explain the chain rule too much. I'm just going to use it and apply it to this particular function here. So I've just written it out a bit clearer for you guys. This is the function that we're going to minimize by taking the first order conditions. And to take the first order conditions, we're going to use the chain rule, which as a reminder, just write it out here again for you guys. So when you have a function within a function, to differentiate this, we use the chain rule, which is as follows. So, as I said, I'm not going to explain this and what it means, but once you understand how this works, it's really not too difficult. Differentiating this function is going to become very, quite, you know, quite simple. So, what we're going to do is differentiate this, go ahead and differentiate with respect to beta hat, and it's going to give us the following result. Minus 2 multiplied by the sum of our function that we rearranged just before, as followed, multiplied by this. Now, we set that equal to zero when we're minimizing. So this minus two here and this difference and this minus two here comes from the chain rule. So the reason we have the minus two is because when you take the derivative of beta hat within this equation, we have a minus in there. If we differentiated this with regards to beta hat, we end up with this. In fact, we end up with minus this here, which is why, hence our minus, this is where the minus is coming from. The two, this two comes from just differentiating the entire function right here, which is this part of the chain rule. We bring the two down in front, and we're getting the minus because when you differentiate this, you just get minus xi minus the mean of x, which is this area. We're multiplying that by the entire function. So we have it here, and we have the minus because, as I just said, it's differentiating this with respect to beta hat gives us minus this here, which is why this is here, and which is why we have a minus here. And we have the two because, as I just said, we bring the two down when we differentiate, which is what we're doing here. So this is why that we have, you know, this is why we have this as the result from differentiating for beta hat. Now, all we need to do to derive beta hat now is just simply rearrange this function because we've set it equal to zero. We've differentiated, we've set it equal to zero which is what you have to do in order to minimize a function. Now we're simply just going to rearrange for beta hat and simplify this function because right now it's a bit long. It's quite difficult to work with. So we're just going to simplify it and basically find our result for beta hat quite soon after. So here is our first order condition with respect to beta hat or the differential of the function with respect to beta hat. Um, just a quick side note, the reason that we have the two in front of the summation is because it's not indexed by i, thus we can easily just bring it out because you know it doesn't need to be within the summation. When the summation is with respect to i, we can take it out. So if you're confused as to why it's outside the summation and not within, on the other side, then that is why. So our next steps to getting the OLS estimator 
for beta hat is just to simply rearrange this and we're just going to use simple algebra here. So we can see here that we can just divide this entire function by 2 to get rid of that 2. So we can almost cross out this here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is expand the brackets. So we're going to expand out for this part here now. Just ignoring the summation for the time being, we can see that that would get us this. Now this should start looking familiar if you have any sort of knowledge of intermediate or basic statistics is this is where we can start to kind of use that knowledge to more or less derive our OLS estimator. The reason for that is because this right here, if you are familiar with the covariance formula, which I will write out in a second, but we have here the difference between each individual, each individual observation from its mean and we have that here for x and y and we're summing that over all i observations and then we're having the difference between each individual observation i and its mean squared which if you can recall is very similar to the variance of x so what we can do remember this is set equal to zero because we're minimizing this function, what we can do is just simply rearrange for beta hat, which is what we're going to do now, which is going to equal this by just taking that this side of the this part of the equation over to the other side and then dividing through by xi minus mean of x squared, we're going to end up with this. <laughs> 